is uh, shocking, to say the least. In the week that's passed, Salve Dio is still in disbelief. She's mourning the death of her close friend, Maria Cecilia Loretto, who is known by loved ones as Micelle. Knowing Micelle, she will never be forgotten. She has this bubbly personality, always happy, the smile. Loretta was beloved in the local Filipino community, perhaps best known for her voice and her live performances. She was a loving mother who worked hard to bring her family to Canada. A spirited life tragically cut short. Loretta was found here just before 2 a.m. on March 18th. Her body was set on fire. Police believe she was killed hours earlier inside her new Westminster home, which is about a 15 minute drive away. I don't understand I will never understand why it had to end that way. It had to end so tragically that way. It is, it is heartbreaking. Two suspects have been arrested, 21-year-old Carlo Tobias and a 15-year-old youth not named because of their age. Earlier this week, they were charged with first-degree murder and indignity to human remains. Today, they appeared in court for the first time. A memorial at the park has drawn crowds of mourners daily. It just makes no sense. No, it no makes sense. No, no sense. And it just and puts like a damp sadness on this whole park now, this whole, whole yes. area. Well, makes me sad because I live here and never ever had anything like that here. Police are asking anyone who might have information behind Loretto's death to come forward, while those who knew her simply wonder why and continue to hold on to the memories. I pray, I pray hard, I pray very, very hard that justice will be served for her and that they repent for whatever they did to myself. John Hernandez, CBC News, New Westminster.